I've built a ton of online stores on different platforms over the years. Some that I used were clunky and outdated, while others just didn't offer what I needed. So I've been looking to try something new, and one name that kept popping up everywhere was Shopify. Eventually, I had to check it out and see if I could make things easier for my new projects. I went in with mixed expectations, hoping for something beginner friendly, but still powerful enough to handle bigger operations. And after spending a good amount of time building some new storefronts for my clients, testing features and running real transactions, I'm ready to share my thoughts. So today I'm letting you in on my experience with Shopify. We're going to touch on everything from the setup process to how well it handles products, payments, themes, and even marketing tools. I'm going to take you through what worked well, what took some getting used to, and where I think they could improve. So whether you're launching your first online store or switching from another platform, by the end of this video, you'll have a better idea of whether Shopify could be the right fit for you. All right. If you're totally new to Shopify, it's basically an all-in-one platform that lets you build and run your online store without needing to know how to code or design websites from scratch. So whether you're selling handmade crafts, digital products, drop shipping items, or even running a full-scale brand, Shopify gives you the tools you need to set up, manage, and grow your business all in one place. Now, what makes Shopify stand out is how beginner-friendly it is while still being packed with features for more advanced sellers. You get access to tons of professionally designed themes, built-in payment processing, inventory management, and marketing tools right out of the box. Plus, there's also an app store with thousands of available add-ons, so you can customize your site however you like. Plus, it can support both physical and digital products, and you can even sell across multiple channels like Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and Amazon without needing to well, juggle a bunch of different platforms. And if you ever thought about starting an e-commerce business but felt overwhelmed by the technical side of things, Shopify makes it very easy to get off the ground without all of the headaches. So getting started with Shopify is very easy and signing up takes just a few minutes. You'll just need to enter your email, create a password, and answer a couple of basic questions about your store. Then you'll be dropped into your dashboard where you can start building right away. No need to download anything or mess around with setup files. It's all online and super beginner friendly. And from there, you can start customizing your store by selecting a theme. You add products, setting up payment options, and connecting your domain. The drag and drop editor makes it pretty simple to move things around and everything is clearly labeled. So even if you've never touched a website builder before, you'll probably get the hang of it in less than an hour. It's built to walk you through things without feeling overwhelming, and that's something I really appreciated. In short, Shopify really focuses on making the whole experience user-friendly. It doesn't bombard you with the main settings up front. Instead, it lets you ease into things at your own pace. So whether you're just trying it out or you're ready to build a serious business, the whole setup process won't leave you frustrated. It's smooth, it's organized, and even if you're a little tech savvy like me, you're probably gonna feel comfortable within no time. But if you get stuck during any point while you're getting started or just wanna make sure you're doing everything the right way, we actually have a full step-by-step -step Shopify tutorial that's gonna walk you through the entire process from setting up your account to launching your store. It's great if you want to follow along and see exactly how everything works in real time. I'll link that in the description below, so make sure to go check it out. All right, now as far as plans, Shopify has a couple of different pricing options depending on where you are in your business journey. If you're just dipping your toes in the e-commerce, then their starter plan can get you off the ground for five bucks a month. But do note that it's super basic and only really for people who are looking to sell through social media, messaging apps, or just need a simple storefront without too many extras. So if you're looking to support your own business, you'll probably want to opt for one of their main plans. And their basic plan at around 30 bucks a month provides everything you need to set up and run an online store, up to 10 inventory locations, 24 seven chat support, and basic point of sale tools. So I say this one's probably the best for solo entrepreneurs or anyone who's just starting out, but wants more structure and flexibility. Now, if you're looking for something a little more robust, up next is their grow plan at just under 80 bucks a month. And honestly, this is the tier I'd recommend for most people, especially if you're running a small team or plan to grow quickly because it offers a better credit rate, up to 88% shipping discounts, plus insurance and five additional staff accounts while still including all of the support and sales tools from the basic plan. That shipping discount alone can save you a lot if you're setting out a decent volume of orders. 
and having multiple logins is a huge plus if you're working with a team. Now, if you're already running a well-established business and need some upgraded features, then you can check out the advanced plan at around 300 a month. It includes better payment processing rates, additional staff accounts, enhanced support, and third-party shipping rate calculations. So this plan is really geared toward businesses that are scaling fast and need a lot more customization and control. Or if you're mainly concentrating on in-person selling, there's also a retail option available for just under 90 bucks a month designed to support brick and mortar businesses that have inventory and staff to manage on their floor. Now, if any of these packages sound like the right option for your brand, then you can get started for free with a three-day trial of Shopify and three months of service at just $1 a month by using the affiliate link in the description. So make sure to take advantage if you want to save a few bucks. All right, so I've used a lot of website building platforms. In fact, I'd say I've tried most of the popular ones and for Shopify, I can say it lives up to its reputation in a lot of ways, but it's not perfect. And there's a couple of things to keep in mind as you're checking them out for your online store. Now, let's start with the good stuff. Like I mentioned, the first thing that stood out to me was how smooth their setup process is. Sign up is quick and the dashboard is clean and easy to navigate. You're not buried in confusing menus or hidden settings like with some other platforms. Shopify seems to know exactly what a first time store owner needs and it guides you along without overcomplicating things. Another big plus, is their app store. Shopify's app ecosystem is huge, so you can expand your store's functionality very easily. Whether it's upselling tools, advanced analytics, or email marketing add-ons, there's something for pretty much everybody and every use case. And while some of these apps do come with extra cost, the flexibility is nice to have if you want to level up your store. Now, setting up payments and shipping was also pretty hassle-free. Shopify Payments makes things easier by cutting out the need for third-party processors, and the built-in shipping discounts can save a lot of money over time. Now, that said, while Shopify is beginner-friendly, some of the more advanced features, like custom automation, international selling setups, or integrating third-party shipping rates, do have a bit of a learning curve. It's not hard to figure out, especially with tutorials and support, but it's not completely set in and forget it either. On the other hand, one thing I think Shopify does better than a lot of other services is how it handles marketing. It comes with built-in tools for things like email campaigns, discount codes, and even abandoned cart recovery, which is super helpful. You can also easily connect your store to platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Google, so your products show up where your audience is already hanging out. I use these features pretty early on, and even without running paid ads, I saw a small but steady stream of traffic just from syncing my products across different channels. So it's nice not having to rely on third-party tools right away or piece things together yourself. Everything is kind of ready to go from the start. All in all, the user experience is, well, it's smooth. The platform is reliable and you can do a lot with it, whether you're just selling a few products or planning to scale big. And I'd say Shopify is one of the easiest and most flexible platforms that I've worked with. So while there are a few things to keep in mind before jumping in, the overall value they provide makes it well worth trying out for anyone looking to build and support an online store. All right, now, if you've been looking into website building platforms, then chances are you've already come across Squarespace and Wix. So let's take a minute and see how Shopify stacks up against two options. Now, I've used all three, and while they each have their strengths, they're built with slightly different users in mind. So Shopify definitely has the biggest focus on e-commerce. Everything about it is designed to help you sell, from managing inventory and processing payments to offering specialized integrations with shipping, taxes, and sales channels like Amazon or TikTok. And if your main goal is to build a serious online store, even if you're just starting out, then Shopify has the edge in terms of tools, scalability, and overall store management. Now, Squarespace, on the other hand, shines when it comes to design. The templates are gorgeous, and it's great for people like artists, photographers, or anyone who wants a portfolio-style site with some store functionalities added in. But once you get into things like managing multiple products, custom shipping rules, or third-party apps, Squarespace can feel a bit limited compared to Shopify. And for Wix, it's kind of a middle ground. It's very flexible, great for simple websites, and has a decent drag and drop builder that is beginner friendly. On top of that, you can definitely build an online store with Wix, but keep in mind that it doesn't have as many of the robust e-commerce tools and integrations that Shopify offers, especially if you plan to scale. So 
All things considered, while Squarespace and Wix are solid options for more general websites or creative portfolios with some selling features, Shopify will give you the structure, the tools, the flexibility you'll need if you're planning to launch a serious online store from day one. So if selling is your main priority, then I would go with Shopify. So to sum it all up, Shopify is one of the best platforms out there if you're wanting to start or grow an online store without getting bogged down by complicated tech. It's easy to use, offers plenty of customization, and has powerful tools that can support your brand, whether you're just starting out or scaling up. Sure, there's always an extra cost to consider if you utilize the add-ons from their app store, but the value and support you get overall makes it a worthwhile investment. And for people whose main focus is managing e-commerce, Shopify hits that sweet spot between simplicity and power, which is why I definitely recommend giving it a try. And that's all for this review. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, then please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more like this. As a reminder, if you want to get started with Shopify for your online store, then you can use the affiliate links in the description below and get three days of service for free on top of a three month subscription at just $1 a month. It's a great way to see if their service could be the right fit for your business. Now, as always, I enjoy hearing your thoughts. So go ahead and leave your questions or your comments down below and I'll get back to them as fast as I can. Now, finally, guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.